All right, Eddie here, and some thoughts as I drive in Kampala. Now, the other day, <laughs> I was driving on one of these roads, then I saw this girl who was really dressed well. In the afternoon, she was crossing a road from one dirty place to the other, and I think she had matched her clothes very well. I was like, wow. She is smart. But then again, that caused me to think, why do we dress up to be smart, to look good? Um, and then again, the thought went to cars. You know, guys, we guys love cars and we like making them look good. And so you can find a guy who has, we call it pimping, pimped their car, their chrome rims, I mean, the thing looks great, looks awesome. And um, that is lights, all the shine. And yet, the guy on the inside doesn't get to see what is on the outside. And so, basically, the reason a guy would do that is because um, he wants to impress the other people on the outside. And that means if there was no one to watch that car, to look at the chrome rims and feel like, wow, that's a good car. I don't think anybody would um, spend lots of money and time to make that car look good. In other words, the way we dress up on the outside, the thing we put on our cars, the way we want to look on the outside only makes an impact to us if there are people on the outside to look at us. In a way, it means that we get our significance from people outside of us. And this makes me think that, hey, isn't that how God created us? That our significance does not come from within, but actually it comes from outside. And you know, I hear many people say, look within to find purpose, look within to find this and that, but then this makes me think otherwise that actually for you to discover your purpose you don't look within actually you look outside of yourself but not to other people you look to the one who made you because i believe god the one who designed us designed us to get that word that we always want to hear well done good and faithful servant and i think all of us as human beings we crave for that we crave for well done good and faithful servant because when we hear it from outside it fulfills us on the inside but unfortunately because of sin and the brokenness of our world we begin to crave for well done from the wrong places from material stuff and the more material stuff we want to have so that we can feel great on the inside actually you need much more because material possession gets out of fashion this car which is cool today won't be cool tomorrow and so you'd want another new car another new toy another new iphone and the list goes on and on and so if you're looking for satisfaction on the inside from the things that keep on changing then you'll never get there but on the other side when we go back to the one who does not change, who is God, and he becomes our satisfaction each and every day, he'll be telling us, I am pleased. I made you perfect. Yes, you are broken on the inside, but my grace is sufficient for you, and I'm here to fix that thing on the inside. If you only can allow me to define you, to tell you who you are, and the scriptures remind us that we get our significance that we get to know who we are and why we are here by going back to Jesus the one who created us and man this is amazing isn't it and so this video is all about reminding us that hey yeah you need to look smart hey don't look shabby don't do all the things oh yeah it's okay to have a good phone but if you're getting all these new things, you are dressing up, you're buying all these latest things to fulfill what is on the inside, you'll never get there. You are going to be seeking for things over and over again. 
the one who really satisfies you is the one who made you and he never changes. The Bible says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so, hey, that was my thought for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.